Hello, I'm the Twit Gamer, and we're going to be doing a Let's Play of Disgaea 6 Complete, which is basically Disgaea 6 from the Switch, but with all the DLC. Just all of it that was previously released. I believe they're coming out with more in future as well, but don't quote me on that, don't quote me on that. But it is worth mentioning, obviously, because I've got a code from Nisa, and thank you to them for that. Thoughts, opinions are indeed my own, but there will be spoilers as well, so be prepared for that. So the game actually does come out next week, June 28th, in North America and Europe. And I think it's in the Australasia area, it's July 5th. Yes, indeed. So, I've already messed around a little bit with Disguise 6, sort of, as a demo. It's like, I could continue with that, but it's like, no, for the Let's Play, we're starting fresh, getting a good flow with it, rather than what we were doing in the demo, which was just messing about and seeing what was going on. Having, having a little play around, basically. We're having a little play around, but we're doing a proper, proper Let's Play from here on out. So, let me get my housekeeping out of the way before we jump right on in. I should see about the settings first. It's like, because, yeah, they pretty much, like, copied over from what I had on the demo, which we... Finally decided upon because it was sort of a bit mm, sound effects. Uh, have the event volume up a little bit, right? But yeah, my housekeeping. If you want to support the channel, you can do. There's a link down in the description to Patreon. Be sure to leave a like, uh, press the subscribe button, and the bell to remain updated with the videos. Leave a comment saying "dude" with two O's, D O O D. That's what I want to see. But please, if you can, donate blood. It may help save a life or just generally help someone out. It's a good thing to do if you can. If you can, if you can't, fair enough. It's fair enough. Right. Let's get on with it. The emergence of a new god of destruction, the strongest ever recorded, carries death and disaster in its wake. It appears out of nowhere, with no discernible pattern or reason for its atrocities. Countless worlds and innumerable demons have been reduced to nothingness by its sheer power. None can oppose this god of destruction. Nothing exists that it cannot destroy. However, no one yet knows that this god of destruction has already been defeated. He's already dead, mate. Hey, Cerberus. This is the place, right? <laughs> Zed, classification zombie. A zombie boy with a piercing gaze appears to be more than meets the eye. Yep, no doubt about it. I can smell it in the air. This place reeks of concentrated magic power. Who's the voice behind Cerberus, anyways? It's like it's not exactly what you'd expect, but it's still oddly perfect in its own way. It's very Disgaea way. <laughs> Cerberus, classification zombie, dog. Zed's companion, bad at fighting, but makes up for it everywhere else. And yes, yes indeed, you can see his balls. Right there, between his legs. Oh dear. <laughs> you serious? I can't imagine you'd be able to sniff anything out with that rotten nose of yours. Hey, you're rotten too, you know. Damn, there are guards at the gate. Guess they beefed up security with all the big wigs at this darkest assembly. Zed and Cerberus were surrounded by extraordinarily powerful guards. Estimated magic level 999. Aren't you gonna let us in? It's awfully rude to stop the guests of honor. You're wasting your breath, as bad as it is. We just gotta plow right through! Forcing your way in, headlong into danger. You're as hot-blooded as ever. Huh, I don't even have blood, being a zombie and all. Now, Zed, has that rotten brain of yours forgotten how to fight, or do you still remember your roots? That's the thing, it's like... I, I do know what I'm doing. Obviously, because, you know, I've played the demo and played previous Disguise. But I think it's very much a case of, like... Because we're starting up this Let's Play as if, like, no one's watched that or anything like that, we'll go with the idea of, like, of course I've forgotten. So, like, people get a feel for it, especially with the, um aspect of like I'm releasing these videos ahead of the game coming out I feel it's important to show this kind of stuff off 
so people will get a proper look at it so they can understand the game ahead of when they probably purchase it or something like that. That kind of logic. I think that's a good idea. So do you remember how to fight? Of course, I've forgotten. Who the hell do you think I am, you dumb mutt? No one forgets things faster than me. Is that really something to brag about? Yeah, it's not something to be proud of at all. I suppose it was inevitable. Let's go with the basics then. Tutorial basics of battle. First, place the cursor over a character on the field and press the X button. Like so. And command options will appear. Upon doing so, select move to get closer to an enemy. Alright, I can send them flying any time now. Hmm. In that case, select attacked Nyx. And uh, just so you know, most characters fit on just one panel. But there are some larger characters who take up five, like the big dragons there. Like so. I say like so, as if I'm the one who's actually showing you. It's like, no, it's the game doing it. You can't move past the five panels those characters take up, but you can deal damage to any of the occupied panels. So, those guys are easier to attack because they're a bigger target, huh? Alright. I mean, I, yes and no. It's like they're easier, but they can attack several people around them as a result. It's like they, they've got that advantage. It's like it works sort of both ways, really. Unless you imagine like you're surrounding an enemy with five panels. They can attack anyone in your surrounding area. So they could attack your healer if your healer's part of the surrounding. It's like, eeh, could be bad. Once you've selected a tag, bring up the menu with the triangle button and select end turn. You will then proceed with your attack. Now go and show them how strong you really are. Suffering like I'll barely any damage to me. Hm, their attacks are so pathetic, this is nothing. Alright, Zed, it's your turn again. Why don't you use your ultimate technique on them next time? Got it. I'm gonna show those punks that even zombies get strong enough to kick butt. The basics here are the same. Get close to an enemy with move. Select special skills next. Depending on the skill, you may be able to attack distant or multiple enemies. Now it's time to sock it to them. As flashy as you can, if you please. I like how it shows like the indecisiveness in the tutorials. Like, which one should I choose? Which one would be good for this kind of scenario? Hmm. I'll finish it. Take this. Interesting thing though is like this, this guy had six and demo was actually the first proper like what I call a proper. Endeavor into me Twitch streaming because the video that came out My on this turn. channel is like that's actually an edited version of a Twitch stream mm -hmm. If you didn't know now you do hmm. They got nothing on me these little level 999s aren't anywhere near strong enough to face me Hmm, well you certainly do seem to remember how to fight but other commands such as using the R1 and L1 buttons, even though it's the way around, to turn the camera, you should check the bottom of the screen. Right, stage, stage go, let's go! Alright, let's, uh, let's see about getting you there. Uh, or should I try and attack you from the side? That'd probably be better, wouldn't it? Let's go the special. So we get around as we should get both of them there. So enter, because I can't 
know the characters to up. play around with, so may as well. Ha! Dead. Fine. Ha! That's it, get her around me. You'll be destroyed. <laughs> It's a shame I haven't got other characters because I'd want to throw them My turn. into some of the other, so it would level them up, but it'd get me more XP and stuff like that. Um, special that will get those three. So let's enter. Take this, damn it! I'm wondering what DLC is available though, because I haven't looked into it. The, the only one I know is Raspberry's back, which is great because I love Raspberry. Rest barrel, da 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 da. That's probably my favorite character from Disguise 3. Can I get both of them? It's like. How close it like. Mm, they're not close enough to each other. So let's just go over normal attack on Vincent there. Yep, just a simple attack. Right, enter. Defeat. Battle end. <laughs> These are the best they could get to guard the darkest assembly. They're nothing special. I think you've just gotten way too strong, Zed. But you know, you've really changed. Not that long ago, you were all <laughs> die, die, die. I think we've all had days like that. Or stupid dumbass, it's your own damn fault for losing! You really were a foul-mouthed little brat. Huh? I've got no idea what you're talking about. My brain's so rotten I already forgot. It's almost like you overcame some kind of life-changing tragedy. Can it, you damn mutt! Ever heard of not being an asshole? You should try it sometime. Ah, my mistake. Anyway, look! There it is. The darkest assembly. I've seen darker assemblies. <sighs> is there still no information on the whereabouts of the new god of destruction? Overlord Ivar. Classification Overlord. Self proclaimed strongest and most important overlord in the universe. Yes. In this one, anyway. It's been several days since it was last sighted. It's never gone this long without destroying anything. Where did it go? What is it up to? Want me to tell you? Huh? Who do you think you are? Can't you see we're in the middle of the darkest assembly? My word! What in Hades' name are those worthless guards doing? Letting such a disheveled zombie wander in here. Oh, those guys are out like a light. Probably enjoying a good old nightmare right about now. Never that or... Spitting up their own blood and... They're probably dead. They're probably dead. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous! As if the likes of you could ever take out those level 999 gu- A flustered demon rushed up to Overlord Ivar and whispered something into his ear. What? All of the guards? Taken out? Oh yes. So anyway, you were saying? You- Just who or what are you exactly? Well... Well, you know that god of destruction you're so worried about? You can relax. I defeated it. What? You, a worthless zombie, defeated that god of destruction? Yeah, it just meant sacrificing a few people here and there, and then basically building everything up in our training in order to take it out. You not played Trillion God of Destruction, Ivar? No? Well, you don't know what I want about then, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you really expect me to believe that some nobody like you could defeat the strongest one ever? Yeah, well, this nobody just defeated your level 999 guards. How do you explain that? 
You obviously had some sort of trick up your sleeve. Leave it to Rabble to resort to nefarious means. I, Overlord Ivar, along with the demons who have gathered at this darkest assembly, will expose your lies! Should it become evident that your claim of defeating the God of Destruction is a lie, you will immediately be put to death. That's assuming you can kill him. Just saying. You are going to execute me? <laughs> what a joke. How dare you! For a pathetic zombie, you're quite full of yourself. Right. I am just a zombie. And you're about to find out how this pathetic zombie managed to defeat the strongest god of destruction. So listen up. Episode 1. The Dramaturgy of Reincarnation. Dude. Zed? Zed? Hey! How much longer are you planning on sleeping? Come on! Rise and shine, Zed! That's a good three more hours in us. I feel that's, that's a good amount. You're finally up, lucky you. I was about to take a leak on your face. Nope, scratch that, I feel a dump coming on. Ugh, that's disgusting, you damn dirty mutt. Can't you find a normal way to wake someone up? I already tried kicking you, gnawing on you, reheating you, even dicing and grating you, but nothing worked. Did you try? Flicking his horn? Maybe that would have done it? Maybe something with his heart? Try and stop that heart on his chest? Like just stamp on it? Oh, I suppose you tried kicking, didn't you? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Just what do you think I am? A rotten slab of meat. Takes one to know one. Yes, it does, which means he's accurate. Whatever. So, where is that thing? Where else? In the middle of destroying stuff. Now this area is just a lawless zone full of rampaging demons. That's so? Alright, let's go take it down. Hold on, Zed. You're about to fight the strongest known god of destruction. You better get prepared first. Welcome, Zed, to the fourth dimensional netherworld. Fourth dimensional neverworld? That's what I said. This place will serve as a secret base of sorts in our quest to defeat the God of Destruction. I'll explain it in its entirety over time, but for now I'll just unlock the general store to start. It'll prove indispensable in taking down the God of Destruction. Make sure to buy equipment for your allies as well. <laughs> allies? Hey, got any? And I don't need them either. I'm afraid I can't agree with that. I've taken the liberty of mustering up a few based on my subjective arbitrary biases. Pshh, <laughs> like I asked. No complaining. We must take any and every step we can to defeat the God of Destruction. Once you're prepared, your next stop will be the battlefield. The Dimensional Guide can show you the way. There's special content DLC. So gear up at the general store, then get to the next fight of the dimensional guide. Got it? Because wasn't this when we was checking out demo? Th I was pointing out like that it was strange. Like this area had nothing in front of it. It's just just an area, and it's like, but I can't even go up there. It's like because the DLC guy's there, which we will check out in just a second. Just want to see if there's anyone else. Like there's the data, but general Welcome store. To the Rosen Queen Company. The Rose and Queen Co's Netherworld branch. We've got weapons, armor, items, everything good adventure could need. If it's weapons you're looking for, make sure to check which type of character prefers before hitting the buy button. Okay, well we could do this, but you Thank know, you very much. it depends what we get with the DLC. But let's let's check in with Cerberus here. How many times does this make that we face the God of Destruction? A million? A trillion? More, perhaps? 
Beats me. Who bothers keeping track of how many times they die? If you're wondering why Trillion God of Destruction is called it, it's because the... It, it, it has a trillion health. Yeah. Well, there was that one time you ran off uh, the God of Destruction before face planting dead into the ground. Did I really? I don't remember that. Then there was the time we lost... And the God of Destruction coughed on us. Who would expect to get blown so far by a light hack? Not us, evidently. Doesn't ring a bell. Besides, that's all in the past for me, anyway. And then the time after that, it was a sneeze. And the time after that... Hey, yeah, reminisce all you want, but don't even think about bringing up that fart. You hear me? My bad, my bad, just a slip of the tongue is all. Oh, wait a minute, so you do remember the fart then? How could I not? A gas cloud seared itself right into my rotten brain. Even now it haunts my dreams. My condolences. Still compared to back then, you've grown so much I can hardly recognize you. Damn straight, I don't give a crap why or how many times I've ended up losing. As long as I beat that thing in the end, that's what counts, and until I do, I rise and fall as many times as it takes. I like his level of commitment there. It's, it's, it's a savvy board, isn't it? Need something? Pathetic demon rebel, you did well to come. Before you is the site where downloaded content comes into being. Acquiring such power would be futile without a way to put it to use. After all, now unleash the dark force slumbering within you and forge your way forth as conqueror of the netherworld. Alright, question is, do we have Nisa? Not retrieving it. Zed and Baker color and equipment set. Well, we'll take it. I got an extra color palette for Zed and Baker? Baker? Lahal, Etna, and Flown color and equipment set. Sorry, Kolor. Starter supporter set. That's quite a bit of stuff. That's cool. Boost tickets to help you get the early game rolling. Well, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take everything we can. We're taking everything. Innocent equipment set. So. Increases hell, mana, and XP from battle, as well as innocence to increase critical damage. Okay. Hollow Live Collaboration Set. Adds five collaboration units to the party based on the popular VTubers. There you go. From Hollow Live Productions. What a man. It is showtime, yes. Character Adele from Disgaea 2. Rosaline from Disgaea 2. Girl Lahal from Disgaea D2, which we still need to play, don't we? Something I should get around to. Asagi from Makai Wars. Mao from Disgaea 3. Experiment! Yes! Raspberry! La 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 la! You can recruit her by clearing the stage backache relief room. Okay. So it is like we need to do these things. Okay. Velvetores! Sardines! That's just. I mean. It's plain air. Fuka! Tesco! I like Tesco. Final boss to be. Kilia! Salia! DLC completion bonus. Extra saga. What? Switch bonus for obtaining all the add on content. Wait, I could. What? That seems a weird thing. Right, we'll get it, we'll get it. Season pass support set. Bonus obtained by purchasing a season pass. Again, we get all the DLC that was available on the Switch, so. So we've got quite a bit there. That's it for DLC. A few DLC. See you later. So what have we got in our group now? So we've got you guys have joined in. As a printy dude? Okay. That seems strange, but yeah, we got those in the group. What items have we got? And some sardines! Some equipment there. Let's see about getting that sorted, to be honest. 
How do I sort that out? Equipment. So thimble we want to change to zombie knuckles. That's quite a bit more attack. Let's, let's see here. So mock death. All the stats are up, so it's like, yep. Same bonus. What's the bonus? Where do I see... Like, it says same bonus, but where do I see the bonus? Let's switch details. Don't see any info on the... Bonus. I don't know. I don't know, but anyway. Um, let's take stuff down. That seems very strange just how much it takes it down, especially because it's only an Imperial Seal. Hmm. Is it taking it down to give it the benefit of, like, because that, like, Kaiser Bell is like, that's a lot of attack. I'm going to go for it. That, that would be good for him. Because I'm looking at the attacks, like, that's actually really good, the Dread, Dread Nought. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Dreadnought, gonna go with the Dreadnought. And let's actually stick with these guys at this point. Let's get it, give him the hidden Yoshitsuna. And again, I'm looking at the attack. Let's let's make sure you like you get the black dragon orb, because that's the SP. Actually, we should give that over to our mage, really. So pretty legacy there. So she has all this SP. Make sure you get some good stuff. Okay. Go with the innocent bow. And give you an innocent armor. What do these slippers do? It's just a lot of speed, isn't it? A lot of speed. Which I'm all for. Yes, I may as well get that. Ooh, can I unequip this from you? Hmm. Is this this will be good stuff. So I'm probably gonna leave these out because it's oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. This don't feel right because they have the potential of dying, and that 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 feels wrong. Like like the people will be upset by seeing this. I'm assuming these are related. It's not a bamboo shoot. It's not. Okay. These feel like much better options. Need a killing grass? Match like hairpin. Hmm. That is better in some stats there, isn't it? So it's sort of like, hmm. Slightly better. The speed goes down quite a bit, so I don't like that. No, I think we're I think we're we're, we're good with everything else there. So let's actually head out now. Follow me, please. I'm the keeper of the dimensional gate. By linking with the super reincarnation process, it can send you across space and time to whatever location you wish. Now then, please select your desired destination. Alright, so let's have a dimensional signpost, because I want to see about... ...getting... ...Rasper Barrel... What was, what was Rasper Barrel's one? Was it? I feel like it's the re-education camp. Let me know when you're ready. But I can't remember now. That, fe feels, that, that feels like it's shot. appropriate to be hers. So view it. Where is it? I have tickets? Who's tickets? Hmm. I wonder how I use those tickets. Any raspberry backache relief Come again, room. Yeah. Back a relief room. But that's items then. The tickets I'm not aware of in what way we could use them at this point. Maybe it's down here, because I know there's like XP boosters and stuff down here. Uh, yeah, you, the cheat shop, maybe. You can rebalance the nether world Cheating, here. playing dirty, both for equivalent to compliments for demons. Welcome to the cheat shop. May adjust the nether world settings to your liking here. Cheating is forbidden in the human world, but widely accepted in the nether worlds. Therefore, cheaters, but as you see fit. So can we adjust these settings? No, we've not got anything we can adjust here at this point. 
Let's actually get our money down then. Put the XP up. Hmm. Yep, mana down as well, and again XP up. See you again. Just adjust it slightly. So how do I use those tickets? I don't know. Where do you wish to go? All right, yep, we know about that. What is it? Backache. Backache relief room. Zed is dead. He began the ultimate demon muscle workout. However, he was accidentally crushed by the final exercise's million ton barbell. None have ever completed the ultimate demon muscle workout. No muscles exist that it cannot destroy. However, Zed does not yet know just how excruciating the ultimate demon muscle workout can be. Ultimate demon muscle workout, my ass. Hell's up with a workout that kills you halfway through. If it happened to anyone else, they'd be gone as for sure. Who the hell came up with this workout? I'll kill you, ultimate demon creator. Just you wait. Zed attempts to start running, however, with his back unable to respond, he couldn't. Gah, what's wrong with my back? You know what I'm thinking we'll do? It's like each part we'll do is like carry on the story, like say do like the normal like half hour-ish story that I'd want to do. You know, normal part that I do on the channel. But at the end, then we go off and get a DLC character. That feels a bit of fun. Yeah, what the hell is this? I'm backing so much, I can't move. Oh, did that workout break my body down? Don't screw with me. I've got to get even stronger, even if I've got to break a back or two. I can't just... Oh, damn, this hurts way more than getting beaten up. This can't be normal pain. Did someone out there put a curse on me so that I'll die or something? Huh. You're new around here. How do I know you ask? Simple because I've memorized the names and faces of all the local residents. Feels much nicer to be greeted with your name, don't you think? That's just the way Evil Academy's number one delinquent rolls. Allow us to clarify, at Evil Academy, moral standards are reversed. Polite greetings are reprehensible. Those who regularly engage in such acts are feared far and wide as badass delinquents. The, the hell's up with you? Shop out of nowhere, talking all polite and giving explanations? It, it, it's almost frightening. This DLC may be the first time some of our friends at home have ever seen me. I'm just trying to be considerate for their sakes. Nah, I, we know you, Raspberry. My name is Raspberry. I'm the childhood friend and rival of this guy 3's protagonist. Also the heroine of that game. Raspberry. Classification Evil Academy Delinquent. The baddest delinquent of Evil Academy. Her favorite pastime is volunteering. Thanks! To those of you who went and bought my DLC, thanks a ton. I kinda didn't at all. Thanks, Denisa. I love you all! Uh, you're gonna get us in serious trouble, so knock it off. Alright, now that I've properly greeted both you and the players, let's get back on track. Your face is pretty pale. Something wrong? I'm always pale. Oh, it even hurts to yell at you. I don't really know what's causing it, but my back's killing me and I can't move. I'm sure it's due to some curse or black magic that's targeting my back. Do you have any clue about what's going on? Oh, I see. Yep, you got a strained back. A strained back? That's right. I trust you've at least heard of it. It's common among the elderly. Something extreme pain occurring in the back, and... Yeah, I know that much, but I thought it only happened to old hags and farts. If I've had countless deaths and reincarnations, look at me. I'm still young. On top of that, it feels like my back's on fire and I can't move. You've got to be kidding me. This is a strained back. There's no doubt about it. Though it's not widely known, it's completely possible for young people to strain their backs too. And though it may be used for gags in comics and junk, the pain caused by a strained back is definitely no laughing matter. As a proper delinquent, I do household chores for my elderly neighbors on the weekend, so I'm really familiar with these symptoms. I strained my back once, lifting a kettle. No joke, no joke. It was like I lifted a kettle thinking there was water in it, so I was expecting to lift it thinking it was heavy. You know, like a liter of water in a kettle would be heavy. It was empty. 
yeah, I, I lurched up very quickly. It, it strained my back. Painful. Painful. Helping old hags and fast on the weekend? What kind of demon are you? Seriously. <laughs> Shaking in your boots yet? You won't find any delinquents that are as badass as me. Anyway, after a day of rest, you should be able to walk. After three, the pain will be gone. You'd best just take it easy. You're telling me I've got to rest for three days? No freaking way. Get stronger, I can't waste even a single day. Can't you do something? Hmm, you're a pretty selfish kid, aren't you? Let's do this! Alright, just leave it to me. Hey, why are you touching me there? Did I tell you it hurts? Damn it! Let's go! Deal with it. It's gonna get a whole lot more painful from here on out. What? Raspberry puts her entire body weight on Zed's back. Ooh, pop, pop, crack. Zed's back makes heart-wrenching noises. Sounds excruciatingly painful. What the hell are you doing? Relax, every demon I've used this technique on has gone to sleep, no problem. He'll be out in an instant, trust me. All right, how's this feel? Does it hurt here? Oh, bloody hell yes. Yeah, oh shit, that hurts. It's a sharp stabbing pain. Yeah, feels like someone jabbing you in the back with a sharp pencil. That's what it feels like. Get off me, damn it. Well now, was that a bit too painful? Sorry. But well, bear with it. I'll put you at ease soon enough. Damn, get what you're trying to pull. Making me drop my guard so you can finish me off, huh? Thinking about it, there's no way a demon would ever be as kind as you. I should have known from the start. Huh? What are you mumbling about? Oh, right, I never asked you your name, did I? Offering to at least remember my name before you kill me. Just how much more do you plan on mocking me? The name's Zed. Need to break it to you, but I ain't going out without a fight. If you think you can take me, go ahead and try. I'll never forget you! see, Zed, is it? Alright, I've memorized it. Leave it to me! Leave it to me, Zed. I'll do this as quickly as possible. Here I go! Here I come to- uh, uh, My back! Hey, you okay? <laughs> Just few- Ow! I'm fine, dammit. Right, so I'm assuming we've got to take her out now. Makes sense. Okay, Zed, move on up. Roman. Let's move you up. Let's actually lift up Zed. Throw uh, her, him, there. Special Thunder Rush on Raspel. We'll execute, see how much we do. Quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage on her. Alright, Jake, let's move on out. Get Johanna. Lift you up. Throw you over there. With special. Bit of fire. The fire rises. Execute. Got her. Got a replica sword out of it. That's something. That's a lot of level up -os. Hmm. That was a lot of level up -os, wasn't it? Hey. You've got some pretty good moves there, Zed. I worked up a nice sweat thanks to you. <sighs> you still up after that beating I gave you? Said your prayers? Alright, time to put the finishing touches on your pain. You still haven't given up? Um, you wanna off me that badly, huh? Off you? What are you talking about? I'm not trying to do anything of the sort. Playing dumb won't work on me. Between trying to shatter my spine and inflicting agonizing pain, you obviously want to kill me. No, seriously. What are you talking about? I was just performing a skill called D-Rule, shoulder massage. It's a special technique that helps your back recover faster. What? Shoulder massage? I've heard that name somewhere before. 
shoulder massage. Shoulders are a known weak spot, since all living beings neglectfully overuse them. Disabling an enemy's shoulder assures victory. Therefore, all forms of martial arts include techniques that target the shoulder. By reversing those techniques, from harmful to healing, the secret technique known as shoulder massage was created. Due to its versatility, quickly spread to everyday use and, in modern times, children use it to extort money from their relatives. Its benefits are said to spread throughout the body and mind, but that is unproven. Dark Martial Arts Compendium, Bloodfest. Biker gave me one a long time ago, and even though she only touched my shoulders, my whole body felt energized. I assume it's Biker. Pretty amazing, huh? And when you're as good a shoulder massage wielder as I am, you can take it beyond just the shoulders. Oh my. By massaging the entire body, you are able to invigorate blood flow throughout the complete circulatory system. After all, proving blood flow is the secret to curing a strained back, which is what you wanted. Do not try this at home. Ras Beryl is a trained professional. Imitating her will likely cause death. But even so, I didn't think you would recover this quickly. Your healing speed is really impressive. Sorry for providing unnecessary physical therapy treatments. You're damn right it was unnecessary. Or at least I'd like to think it was. You really did help me out. I mean, I didn't know anything about strained backs. But that... Don't you think it was a little too rough to call a shoulder massage? I seriously thought you were going to kill me. <laughs> really? I was holding my strength back quite a bit. My elderly neighbors, Granny Giga Thunder and Grandpa. Deaf Dragon. Usually tell me I'm not pressing hard enough. But, yeah, but I'm guessing they're way bigger than me. Anyway, well, thanks. Guess some demons really are kind to the core, like you, huh? <laughs> Looks like you've fallen for my whimsical bad to the bone delinquency too, huh? Wanna become a delinquent yourself? Rounding up volunteers early in the morning. Organizing blood drives and a little removal. These are great ways to spend your weekends. Donate blood, people. Donate blood. Hell no, I'd rather have to keep enduring your shoulder massages than spend my weekends like that. Oh, sounds like you become addicted to my shoulder massages. What? No, that's not what I... I'll help you out. I better keep looking after you. At least till your back's fully healed. Besides, you still look pretty pale. Listen to me, pale is just my skin tone. Say no more. We're already pals, and doing everything you can for your pal is all just part of being a badass. Zed, no matter what happens from here on out, I'll always be your ally. Raspberry joins Zed and his allies. Doesn't seem like he can say no. Now then, I'll get ready to head out. Let's meet up again later. Damn. I can't even get her to listen to a word I say. I wish I could get another shoulder massage from Baker. Or Baker. Wow, perfect timing. Experiments! Oh, hey, Beryl. What's the matter? Looks like you're in a hurry. Do you happen to have any medicine for fixing someone's naturally poor complexion? What do you take me for, some handyman? And why would you assume I have that kind of medicine on my person? Anyway, I just so happen to have this today. It... Thanks! Wow, you're as amazing as ever, Mal. Thanks. Hey, stay back. First of all, I never said anything about giving it to... Great, I can use this to help someone. Gotta get going, Mal. We can play next time. Yeah, she never listens to anyone. Can't understand why she always try to help people. That medicine she took from me is for bleaching skin. One tablet turns the whole body white. What could she need that for? This led to the... Joker Zed incident, where Zed, having turned completely white, went on a rampage. But that's a tale for another day. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so let's see about Raspberry's, um equipment then. So she's got... Evil Akkad Handbook, but I don't think we can actually... Like, SP... Well, that, that is actually... Like, SP-wise, the replica sword's better, but it's like, mmm... The, the int... 
we're getting from it, the Intin Res, it's like, you know, I'm gonna keep that. Let's give her some good stuff down here, though. But decently good stuff. Look at the clown clothes. Let's give her them. Alright, so she'll be part of our group going forward, but we are... There's our boost, look. Ah. That's a lot of boosting. That's a lot of boosting, but, yes. We're ending this part here in the next part. We'll carry on with the story for about half an hour and then we'll get another DLC character. Who it will be? I don't know yet. Depends how I feel. Ta-da for now.